Now, this is a video somebody sent me of mushrooms making music. What? <laughs> I know, I know. What did you just say? Let's all watch this together. <laughs> Shoot. I'm leaving. I'm going to another planet. Hey, okay, welcome back to whatever the hell this is, Easter edition. Woo! <laughs> also, Sandy edition, she's yeah! back! Yeah! I have never <laughs> seen a response like that. That was crazy. Like That was so excited for you. So exciting. So, I mean, I didn't, I, you guys know I was very, ex very nervous. Yeah. And uh, it just was amazing. I know, we were sitting, what happened was we were at my mom's house. Why were we there? Did somebody die? Shane. Well, <laughs> I feel like <laughs> we were all together and I feel like that's a holiday or somebody It died. must, it was your mom's was birthday. It? Her birthday. Okay, good. Oh, she survived. Um, <laughs> so we were at my mom's house for her birthday and you were talking about starting a channel and maybe trying to do something on YouTube. And I was like, you should come on the podcast and you were nervous and you fucking killed it. Oh, uh, yes, thank you. Like, you. Killed it. I was, I was nervous, um, but thankfully you guys are just, you're, you're too easy to bounce off of. So it was ooh, good. Ooh, that triggered me for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> um, were you like nervous when it came out? Were you like regretting anything you said? Did it come out to your liking? I, well, I love the episode. You guys did not Everybody did amazing. Um, I'm pretty sure I told Jared I didn't want to watch it. So like I told him at first, I said, you know, just tell me the, what the comments are, are like, and then maybe I'll watch it. Because I think seeing yourself for the first time on the internet is like, Scary. oh yeah, a little bit. And um, he was like screenshotting some comments to me, and then I and then I started watching it, and um, I read the comments, and it just. It was almost like I just didn't know what to do. I was so, I just felt so much love. Oh, yeah. well, yeah, that was really cool. Jared, how'd you feel? Were you a proud hubby? I was very proud. I feel like, you know, I personally know Sandy is really funny. And uh, to be able to see people, you know, get all, get the joke she was saying, and she's so quick witted and, you know. I, I was very proud of her. Cute. Yeah, well, the, fa the farmer's comment took me out. Like, I thought so about that good. for a minute. <laughs> what did you say? The farmers, because we, we the make one? them grow. Oh! oh my god, that's amazing! <laughs> so I'm always trying to figure out merch, because I'm like, I'm so dumb with merch ideas, I don't know. And then all the comments were like, farmer merch, farmer merch. And I was like, why did, that's so genius. <laughs> you know, I didn't even think about it until afterwards where I thought, Oh my gosh, I don't know why we, no one really else thought about it. It just makes so much sense. Well, it gave the community. <laughs> <laughs> the growing community. It gave the, <laughs> the growing community constantly. Definitely. It gave them, you know, something to, yeah, something to call themselves. So we're very grateful for you. Well, did you execute? What? The merch. No. <laughs> I gotta figure it out. And nobody's buying. The, I'm gonna keep it real. Nobody's buying the merch anymore. So like, well, you know, grower is very merch. specific. It's like <laughs> I don't know that I, I would wear that I even will, as not a grower. I will say though, <laughs> now if you introduce the farmer merch. Ooh. It adds a layer to the metaphor mm -hmm. combo. And people will be like, oh, dude, they farm, they grow. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> you know? I'd go to combo with you in that matching but, set. But if you know, you know. Well, um, in farmers, you can farm anything. Or, yes. you know, you don't really, it doesn't have to. It's be. not exclusive to penises. <laughs> exactly. You know? <laughs> Happy Easter. <laughs> um, okay, I want to jump right in. Actually, you know what? We haven't done this in a long time. Whatever. Fashion update? Yeah, we'll do this. We'll, do, well, now that Sandy's here, we really can't use that song anymore. Why? Well, because oh, it doesn't exclude reference both you. of us. Yeah. <laughs> so fashion update. Okay, so I tried to like get everybody kind of matching for Easter. I don't know if I succeeded, but Sandy killed it with her Easter look. <laughs> yeah, I was told I look like an Easter egg. <laughs> so I killed it. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Who told you that? My sister. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I, just, like, I think that's what I'm going for. So I think I'm, I won. Well, Shane's been carrying an actual Easter basket yeah. around for three months. And I'm like, Shane, it's not Easter. But now it's finally <laughs> on this podcast, at least Easter. Like Thank Lizzie you. walked in and she's like, why is there an Easter basket on your kitchen counter? Well, because I like to have all my things with me when I'm walking around the house. Well, show That's it. so sad. Okay. Well, actually, thank you. Perfect segue, because I want to start this episode off with a fight. I feel like this ep this podcast needs more drama. It needs more fights. It needs more, like, awkwardness. Yes. More, yes. like, more? rude. <laughs> you think there's already enough? I mean, the dress was such a... <laughs> the, I'm not right. starting again, Chris. Don't even mention it. Well, yes, I, I was worried we weren't friends. <laughs> Really? A little bit. Chris, see, what happens is when you grow up in a household that's like toxic and kind of crazy and stuff, you know, you just kind of enjoy the fight. You enjoy the makeup. 
Are you move on? Mm. Scary. I think that's a behavioral that pattern scary? that should be broken. <laughs> Not to me. <laughs> it's scary to you. No, I actually enjoy it. You like fighting? I, yes. no, I mean, not fighting, but just expressing yourself. Yes. Oh, this is like full-blown the... screaming at each debate. other. <laughs> it gets the blood pumping. Yes. Shane doesn't like debating for fun. <laughs> like, because I'm the kind of debater that like will stand on the kitchen table and start screaming. <laughs> well, just just to be fair, that's not debating. Uh, <laughs> that that sounds more or less like well, uh, if you don't see my point, argumentative. It's right. how you got to win. I, I'm right there with you, Rylan. I think me and Rylan are kind of the same. Maybe you two should have a debate. <laughs> yeah, what? You guys can disagree upon. You can stand on the dining table. Debate. You can dance, stand on the kitchen table. It'd be fun. I have a feeling we would agree on most things. There, that'd be fun. <laughs> well, let's see if you agree on this because I was in the kitchen earlier before we started the show and you guys were all crowded around like little rats around the kitchen counter just going at it with the little Girl Scout cookies that Ryan bought. And I don't get it. I think they suck. What? I think they fucking suck. I think they're overrated. Fuck this organization. I think they're overpriced. I think they're not Wait, very good. Wait, do you good. know what it goes to? Like maybe it does some good for the world. Some bullshit. <laughs> what does it actually go to? I have no idea. I don't know where it goes to. Uh, fact check, I guess. Ooh, but I don't know. You know, I don't Listen, know. Uh, Sorry, you, according to Google, is 70, uh, 76% of the cost of each box is reinvested in local Girl Scouts. But to do what? <laughs> well, I will yeah. say I did. These bitches ain't wearing diamonds. This is like, <laughs> hey, where the fuck is it going? Yeah. Yeah. I did see that there was actually a group in New York that it was, um, I believe it was girls that were in shelters and they were like raising money to help themselves. Okay, well, now I feel bad. <laughs> Listen, I will buy them. I will give them all my money. Yeah, you try saying no to the girls suck. outside of Ralph's. They are fucking mean. They're, They're the I mean, they look at you though and they're like, girls, and they stand at both entrances. Yes. So you can't even like dodge them. You have I know. to face them. And then they look you straight in the eye. Well, and they're like, Girl Scout cookies. And I'm like, oh. and now they take Venmo. Because that's how I know. Or wow. you can say, oh, I don't have cash. And Liter now they pull out their little Zell. When I was like eating half, because I feel like I ate half of them. I'm so sorry. I have no self control. But for a lot of people, I, like, at least for me, it's like kind of, I think it's just a nostalgic thing. Like I grew up with Girl Scout cookies being in my life and a thing mm -hmm. every year. And like, I, th I think it's partially just a nostalgic thing. See, we grew up in, and that's so cute. And I love that for you. We grew up in a house where our mom was like, when you see those Girl Scouts, you fucking run. We cannot afford it. We can't afford it. Yeah, those are baller cookies. That's what Rich, I remember one time our house got toilet papered and my mom was sad because like, it was the good shit that they used to toilet yeah. paper out. She made, okay, I remember. Yeah. I, okay, I came outside, it was like midnight and our house was totally toilet papered and I was like crying, I was so upset and mom was like wrapping, re-wrapping it and she's like, we're using this. You, you want to hear just a little backstory to that, which is kind of fucked up, uh -oh. is that night me and a group of friends did a scavenger hunt where we went around in the neighborhood and asked everybody for random stuff. And one of them was toilet paper. So I went around and helped all my friends collect the toilet paper. And then they toilet papered my house. Oh. Why? What did they have against Why'd you? Why'd they do that? What'd you Just do? haters, dude. Okay. Wait, you know? no, your friend group is like a villain or <laughs> I'd be so I, pissed. I, mean, I think it was funny to them. I would like to know who uh, was the ringleader behind it. I mean, it. Call toilet paper is a little more friendly than egging. So Maybe they it, knew. Maybe they're like, dude, we don't want to just like straight out give you toilet paper because we know you're in need. Mm -hmm. Maybe we'll just throw all over your fucking <laughs> trees in your house and then your mom can come out and get it. If our fucking Maybe kids... they are friends. They're good friends, dude. You know? <laughs> yeah, you spot <laughs> If our future kids take the Charmin and toilet paper somebody's house, I'm going to be so pissed. Oh, not the Charmin. Not the Charmin. Dude, <laughs> we need to bring toilet paper and houses back. When did, when did that stop? I haven't seen it in so long. I don't know if you should say we should bring that back. Yeah. <laughs> that shit's a hot If commodity. I wake up to this house toilet paper, I'm calling you. Okay, hold on. I never got the answer. Let's go around the room. Who here thinks that these little fucking stupid cookies are great and who thinks they're overrated? Everyone likes them. Raise your don't hand lie. if you think they're overrated. Cookies are for rookies. You guys are haters. Wow. You eat all of the cookies every time we get them. <laughs> yeah, but the, yeah, but I'll eat any cookie every time that I get it. <laughs> but there's got to be one for you. Yeah. There's such a variety. They're all the same. No, they're they not. They all are stupid and little round. <laughs> and like this one's new, right? They have a new one. This is their scheme. Let me read this dumb shit. <laughs> this is their scheme on the back. Okay, these are called Adventure Fools. Those were Chris's favorite. Oh, those, I love those. They, those are these so are good. nothing. These are fake. <laughs> on the box, it's like, ooh, it's like a little brownie. It's like whatever. And then you pull it out and it's the same shit that they all are. It's stupid no. brown. You cannot Just tell me. Dumb, you cannot thin. tell me yeah, that the Samaritans are oh not God. the best thing ever. Those were lackluster at best to me. They hey, look oh, so actually, delicious. <laughs> rewind in the kitchen. I moments three before out of this ten. podcast. No, Jerry said the Samoas are the almost too good. Yes, he, he, he did. did. They're almost yes. too good. Hey. Wow. I, guess, I will say. Lie. <laughs> yes, but we're talking about 
is it a, is it value? You know, I think for five dollars for ten cookies, it's not that good of a deal. But the Samoas, I, okay, fine, I'll bend. Samoas are good. Fuck it, <laughs> I like those. But <laughs> those they're too good. They're so sweet. Maybe that's what I was. But it's, it's hard to eat more than like two. If it goes to a good cause, I don't know what like going back to the Girl Scouts means. So like, I need to do some further digging onto like, do they go on vacation? Like, what are they paying for? <laughs> I, I don't know, they're like owners to, to be rich? Probably, yeah. <laughs> you know what it really is though? <laughs> this is what I see the Girl Scout cookies to be, because there's dads out there that like, don't have like kids that go to baseball games and get all like super into it. So what I think it is, and I've actually met a few dads that have Girl Scout kids, they're very competitive. Oh my God. Oh. It's like they keep a sheet of it. It's yeah. like, oh, I heard, oh yeah, this year we got five cases coming in, you know, we're gonna, <laughs> and they're gonna sell them in the first weekend, no. you know, but it's very oh. much like, it's, it's turf stuff, you know what I mean? Like our crew's gonna sell more than your crew, and then the dad's gonna help them. The girls sell more because they get points and prizes. Wow. So I think it's mainly the parents that drive this. Well, Just like a little league game. They don't care if they win or lose, but the parents do. I know? wouldn't be surprised if the moms in the Ralph's parking lot were throwing hands because there were like five <laughs> different setups and the moms were the aggressive ones. They were like, girls got cookies! And we yep. walk in and they're like grabbing everyone's attention. And then I, I was at the commons and there's a bunch of stores and they're set up throughout the whole place and it's just like a huge competition okay maybe this is toxic but i almost want to like take a microphone and a camera and go and interview all the girl scouts and make them like sell them to me be like tell me why yours are better than that bitch is over there and like oh, just dude. make it a competition it's serious they train them that's they like in sales in sales basically anytime someone objects to what you're saying it's called a rebuttal mm -hmm. or you need to rebuttal them with something good right you need to direct it towards the sale right but they're actually taught rebuttals if the people say oh all i have is a card that's perfect. We take card, you know. Okay. Uh, I have a da dairy allergy. Oh, do your all of your friends too? <laughs> no, you know, Whoa. like you know, what? like this is fun. Okay. Now this uh, should, wait, wait, wait. Should I be, should, wait, wait, wait. This is free fucking game, okay? Oh, you're right. Uh, but uh, fuck it, there. It's for charity. <laughs> so, so yeah, but anything that you say, they have um, a sheet. It sucks in real life when you can't just hang up on them. I don't know how you do that. When people call, like scam calls, I like talk to them. Well, I haven't we been through up. this? I tell them, I warn them. I'm like, I'm going to hang up now. It's happening. I'm hanging up. And I go, boop. You know what though? Sometimes they have fun with you and they have a list of hyper calls where they'll put you on at least one call a day. Like if you're very rude to those people. I'll block the oh. number. Is, is, if you don't say, put me on your do not call list very specifically, oh, they'll actually put you into the loop where you get called 10 times more all the time. <laughs> oh my God. And they're usually one company runs 10 different hustles. Just hang trick. up, hang up right away or don't answer. Uh, me. Okay. Um, I can't believe we've gone so long in this podcast without asking for a Terry Chang acupuncture <laughs> Panoma, California update. <laughs> well, I did tell him and he uh, was very excited, but then was also like, okay, lay down, let's get these needles in you. But he, uh, I think he was a little shy. Oh. I mean, Terry Chang is a very, you know, respectable man, yes. and he he's a family man. Wow, well, I'm glad you went. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't want to take the gift card, and I forced it on you. Oh, I, I, I was know. like, you have to do it's this. It's like nobody else. It's content. I came running after, like, after us, and I felt so bad, but it, it got used. Mm, good. Yeah. Uh, well, what's your plan? Because when we were talking at my mom's house, you were talking about starting a channel. So are you going to start a channel? I want like you to promote it. Let's talk about it. Do you need help? Ideas? Well, I don't, I, I kind of want to learn as I go. So maybe if I have questions, I'll reach out, but I really want to, uh, I think as we talked, I'm just kind of going through this like health journey for myself, uh, both mentally and emotionally and physically and um, so I want to just share what I learned and I want to share because I know there's a lot of things that I researched that I would have never known doctors would have told me and there's a lot of holistic things you can do and I just want to share that um, information and maybe somebody else has tried something I never heard about and I can learn through the comments and I just want to just find a community that's same on the same uh, same page. And the, do you have like a channel yet? Did, did you make one? I definitely have one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put it on the screen. <laughs> no, no. I, um, I already started filming, so I'm really excited uh, to put it out there. And also, off. well, also the traveling aspect of it, because this last weekend we went to uh, something called the Dark Sky Festival and she documented a lot of it. And I think you had talked about maybe doing videos like when we go out on these adventures, you could like you know, kind of film those. Is that what you're thinking too? Well, and I posted that a reel of the of our trip of the uh, death. It's the Death Valley, like you said, the dark sky. Um, it was really cool. 
I had never even heard of it until I followed these national parks and there were so many people and they talked about black holes and we looked at the stars and we did astrophotography and it was just such a cool community. Um, so I posted a reel on that. So I want to share like more, you know, adventures up. And so far that's on your Instagram, right? Yes. More adventurefuls. <laughs> Ooh. Well, everybody go subscribe to Sandy's channel. We'll put it on the screen right now. Follow her on IG or wherever else she is. We'll put all the links and uh, support her. This is so exciting. It's crazy because you've been, oh yeah, what am I doing? <laughs> I mean, you've been in our lives forever. You guys have been together forever. I've lived with you like, but I never knew if you wanted to be on camera. So I kind of would you were in some vlogs, but I would kind of like not put you on camera because I wasn't sure if you wanted to be private. So like, it's kind of a big deal. It's actually a huge deal where I think <laughs> even just daily, I think to myself, because it's a lot to put yourself out there to make yourself vulnerable and, you know, just thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. So, um, but I don't know. I think I just got to the point where I think you guys know I work with um, youth and with um, like a wellness center. We talk about mental health and I just felt like I just needed to stop worrying about what people thought about me. And I just put myself out there and I uh, listened to a podcast and they pretty much said, you know, the key to connection or to connecting to somebody else is being vulnerable. And I just want to let that go and, and connect with other people. Well, I think that's a really good, like, that's what I've been trying to do too, is just, I feel like for a long time, I was very vulnerable and open and would talk about things and like would make videos and just talk about what's going on and how I'm feeling and what I'm dealing with. And then when I got canceled or even a little bit before that, I felt like every time I talk about something, people would, you're manipulating. Oh, you're trying to be a victim. Are oh, you doing this? You're doing that. So I just stopped. And I was like, I'm just not going to say anything vulnerable at all, basically. And, you know, now I'm trying to bring more of that to the podcast because, yeah, I do want to like, I don't know, like, because I see a lot of comments like, Shane's so happy. I've never seen him so happy. And like, I am happy. I'm so grateful for everything. But like, you know, it's been a fucking year. Well, yeah. yeah. And I think you, <laughs> like, you went through so much that I think now that you are happy and you found this personal growth and this personal happiness outside of your career. Because I think a lot of your, like, confidence was inside of your, like, wrapped up inside of your success. And then I think when all of that happened, you had to find happiness inside of your personal life. And now it's bringing that combining it with your like online mm -hmm. persona not even that it's like different than who you are in real life but i think it's just like being open to that and i was even very inspired by you because we were having that conversation and you were like i hit a breaking point where i was just like fuck it i'm holding myself back from not sharing like for fear of whatever or doing anything because i'm like well whatever so your like enthusiasm to take on like just your dreams is inspiring because it's like i think it no matter what level you get to or wherever you're at the like the step is always to like try something that you're excited about that's different that's not your comfort zone to enjoy life thank you and and i think i've been through so much which is ha everybody has at this point but i've been through so much uh personally which i'll make a video about later <laughs> <Yay>. <laughs> <laughs> on my YouTube channel. <laughs> um, but what it really taught me was just to surrender and like, you know, at that point it's just, if I'm not happy and I'm not working on my own individual growth, then like, I'm not happy. My relationships in my life aren't doing well. Like, and I think to me personally, the point of this life is to find that true happiness, that balance and try to share that with other people. Mm. Like, mm. So. And that's yeah. what the Girl Scouts say if you try to tell them not, <laughs> not to buy it. Was on the back of the we, we <laughs> Is that adventurous? <laughs> okay. So really quick, before we take a break, I have a question. Now, this could lead to a potential fight or a potential nice. divorce. So I have a scenario that I'm going to read you guys. If you've already heard this, pretend like you haven't. Okay. I feel like Jared probably has. Maybe. Okay. Here's a scenario. Okay. Really visualize it. There's a girl. She's at her own mother's funeral. She meets a guy who she doesn't know. She thinks he's amazing, her dream man, and is pretty sure he's the love of her life. However, she never asked for his name or number, and afterwards, she couldn't find him anywhere. A few days later, that same girl kills her own sister. Why? I was paying so much attention <laughs> that I am trying to remember, okay. think about what I just heard. points. Girl's mom dies. Yes. Has a funeral. Meets a guy there. She doesn't know who he is. Like, oh my God, who is this guy? Then she didn't get his number. Oh no, I lost my dream man. A few days later, she kills her own sister. 
He slept with her. He's married to her? Why would she kill her own sister? I think she probably killed her mom too. Yeah, I, I, was, I was like, did she kill the first is one? She mur- is she murking them all out for like some inheritance? Ooh, interesting. Chris? Yeah, I don't know. I was thinking she's just psycho and killed the first person, the mom, I guess as well. I cannot believe that nobody in this room is a psychopath. What do you mean? Because this is a psychopath test. So the answer, if you're a psychopath, is that she killed her own sister because she knew that he would show up for that funeral because he's connected oh to the family. Oh my God. I remember you had told me this like five years ago and I still didn't remember the answer. Really? Yes. So there's like, okay, I love watching people's reactions to these because people will do them to like their husbands or their boyfriends or whatever. YouTubers will do it. And like, they'll not say it's a psycho test. And there's some that right away are just like, Oh, she killed the sister so that he would show up at the next funeral so she'd see him again. And then like, they post boom. it on the internet? Yes. To show everyone they're a psycho? And the reaction is like the wife will be like, Oh my God. Um, <laughs> um, it's fucking crazy. I wonder what's the analysis of a person who thinks that they, she murked out everybody. <laughs> well, I think that's like... Is that, bas- is that basic? No, I think that was interesting. That was a little darker. Oh, am I bitter drama. that I'm not a psychopath? <laughs> I know. I'm like, why, <laughs> why am I really? Sometimes what I think, think you? <laughs> Sometimes I think life would be easier. So much easier. Like every time I get you canceled, just give a fuck. I'm like, I wish I was a psycho. Cause if I, I would just be like, whatever, I'll make merch With about everything. It. You could just, it's like, eh. I don't care that I hurt everyone's feelings. It's fine. I know. How accurate is this test? Who made the test? I don't know. Well, they have, <laughs> they have two brains and psychopath brains are different. They have like uh, the frontal <laughs> lobe is darker. There's less activity. There, it, there's like a very specific reason. Um, so it's like not their fault technically, but that is the way that their brain works. Okay. The girl kills her sister. What's the benefit? What's the reason? What's the, oh, because she wants to meet the guy. It's like their brain just does that. Is there Yikes. an advantage in society to us yes. having psychopaths? I yes. think is it like an evolutionary thing? CEO, presidents, um, of corporations of the country, who knows? Like all the top leaders, people who run churches, the Girl all Scout the, cookies, Girl owner. Scout leaders, <laughs> all of them are high percentage chance that they're psychopaths because they make quick decisions. They don't think about it. They don't care well, about laying grow, people off. Yeah, Yikes. to grow a business, there's a lot of brutal decisions that have to be made. And I think yeah. a non-psychopath would have a very hard time sleeping with themselves. Well, I'm really happy that all of you guys are not psychopaths. That really makes me feel good. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I, think, I, I think Jared's still upset about it. Because yeah. I like that answer, dude. I know. It, it's creative. It's creative. Uh, we're going to take a quick little break. I'm going to go pee. When we come back, ooh, I have a big surprise. Ooh, I have a fucking surprise. We'll see you in a second. Okay, sorry to interrupt the show, but yes, today we have a sponsor and I'm very excited because they're a returning sponsor that I love so much, Rocket Money. So as hopefully you already know, Rocket Money is an all-in-one finance platform that helps you save more and spend less. So obviously I've talked about it before. My favorite feature ever is that they help you cancel unwanted subscriptions. I bet if you went into your phone right now, you would look and you'd be like, oh my God, I have 13 subscriptions for things I did not know I was paying like a dollar a month for. What is this? Well, Rocket Money will safely and securely identify reoccurring charges and cancel unwanted subscriptions for you. Just with a tap, you never have to get on the phone or anything. They also will help you lower your bills. This is pretty crazy. So just by uploading a picture and tapping a button, Rocket Money will negotiate your bills for you from internet service bills to cable bills to phone bills. Like they will help you negotiate to get better deals. Oh, also they monitor your credit. That's a big one. They'll alert you when there's changes in your credit or things that happen that mess with your credit and they'll help you fix it. Like they'll give you tips. That's a big one. If you're trying to get a car or a house or anything that's like a big purchase, your credit score is so important. So like a lot of people, I didn't even know what my credit score was. So a lot of people don't know and then they go to get a car and then their credit score is really bad. And they're like, what happened? And it's because there's like an unpaid bill or something from like 10 years ago. And you're like, what the fuck is that? Well, Rocket Money will help you know what your score is and how to fix it. So to save more and spend less and join the 3.4 million other members, just go to rocketmoney.com slash grower or click the link in the description below. You can get started for free or even unlock more features with the premium. That's rocketmoney.com slash grower to get started for free. So please go check out this app. Trust me, it's great. I love it so much. I wouldn't just tell you that just because they're a sponsor. Like I really do believe in it and I think it could help uh, a lot of people. So go check it out and enjoy the rest of the show. Bye. Should be farming. Farmer queen. Wow, I'm so fu- You guys are not going to hear about this, but I'm very excited. What? I have never gotten so many emails about this. People were like, you need this, you need this. And they're sold out everywhere. And I finally found them. Okay, I found Peeps 
Pepsi. The collabo of the generation. What? Shane has a hard on for Pepsi. Pepsi. I, I didn't even know this was a thing. It, I know, me Dude. neither. And they're not supposed to come out for like another month, but, but certain liquor stores got them early. So then I called like seven liquor stores and I was like, hey, uh, do you have Peeps Pepsi? And it was a lot of like, Peep, huh, Peep. But finally, I found them. Oh my God, I'm so Dude, excited. The branding. How cute. mad are we that it's not called Peepsy? <laughs> <laughs> right? Oh, they really missed what the market. Missed opportunity. opportunity. Peepsy. You're right. Whoa, Do you guys um, like so this peeps? is brand new. I don't want to open it almost. Well, I did get peeps for us, so we all have our own flavor, so we can compare, because peeps I think are all the same flavor. I don't really know. Oh my god. This is really cool. 69 <laughs> grams Dude, of sugar. I love it when somebody makes a peep <laughs> joke. Like, I do it for my peeps. <laughs> I like one of those. I love it, dude. Okay, so there's your guys's. Oh my god, they match with your guys's outfits. <laughs> Whoa! I did not plan you. this. That dude. is cute. I feel like I'm in a Gap commercial. Oh my god, mine matches my outfit too. This is really weird. I did not plan this. Wait, so you thought that like we needed the peeps to make sure? Yes, yeah, so like to compare and contrast. Dude. I'm excited. If you guys, you guys can scroll past this part. You know, <laughs> I don't care. I'm excited. I did this for us. Okay, so let's try the soda first. Oh, the soda first. Oh, the peepsy. Oh my god, you're right. Holy shit. This has 138% of the sugar you're supposed to have in a day. <laughs> I don't think I can even taste it. I... Okay, here we go. Wow. Peeps wow. Up. Peeps oh, up. you tried already? Is it good? It smells like vanilla Coke. Yes. It's, it does. It, it, it's a cream soda on fire, dude. Oh my god. Man, this is so fucking good. Holy shit. It this tastes is, like this a, is great. Like this I'm chugging vanilla yeah, flavor. It tastes like yeah. vanilla Coke. Are we going to fight... <laughs> What do you think it tastes like? It tastes like you put a peep and you sucked up soda and you put it in your mouth. Well, yeah, they just threw <sighs> fucking... Well, for, let's try the peep. Try the peep. Wow, next. whatever it tastes like, I'm into it. You love it? <laughs> it's really good. Oh my God. <laughs> God damn, soda is so it bad. It tastes like a cavity, though, dude. Real talk, yeah. this tastes like so sweet. It tastes it's just delicious. like the peep. You know, I like it because I can't chug it. This is a sipper. It's a sipper. Yes. Very rich. You know, I don't believe I've ever had a, a peep. What? what? I'm not saying it's never happened, but They're I so can't cute. remember. They're... Oh. Sorry, I just needed a little mystery for that. Am I a psycho? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> You've never had a fucking peep? What? Wait, try Oh my god, peep try. I don't know if a Testing. lot of like Sweet Latino peep. people grew up with peeps. No, right? You know what I mean? Like, no, My mom for sure has never peep had a peep. no grigio. How do you pass them in the store and think, I don't need that? <laughs> what do you think? It doesn't really have a flavor. Oh, well, listen, I don't want Death. to unfortunately ruin the, oh my God, gluten-free and fat-free. <laughs> I don't, wait a minute. I don't want to ruin, oh my God, 27 calories per chick. I mean, it's the sugar that's going to kill you. Are peeps the health move right now? <laughs> Are they? Oh my God, express your peepsonality? <laughs> No, and one. they couldn't think of Peepsy, dude. Come on. I know. Um, okay, so I don't want to ruin the vibe. Why? But, uh, our next drink that we're going to try is oh. a kind of a conspiracy. I'm a little late because it was like popular a year ago, um, and I'm finally getting around to trying it. We're going to try to make our own soda. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and okay. it's not going to go well. So we have, um, what do they call this? I think, they, first of all, they call it healthy Coke. Uh, but dentist came out and said it actually is dissolving your teeth and it's really bad. Okay, well, oh, don't hand that to me. Nice. I it, just got a teeth cleaning. Once well, it's fine. Doesn't all carbonated drinks technically, just the carbonation, like, thank you. decays yes. your teeth. I think. See? Dude, Ready? Yuck. What the f it. What is oh, it? Oh, this it smell. Why does it, it smell like cheap like, wine? It smells like dad's. <laughs> I thought I was doing a classic. Like dad cologne? Yeah. Oh. oh yes. One, two, three. Uh, it's vinegar. I, I swear it's vinegar. Yes. <laughs> it is. It is. Oh. I almost want to taste it again, though. Healthy, though, right? <laughs> for your digestive system. You know, system, though, maybe I, not for your teeth. I get, like, why people would call this a soda, but, like, Ugh, I feel so bad for people that actually think this is what soda is. I mean, like. just drink a LaCroix or a bubbly. So this is carbonated water with balsamic vinegar. That's, oh. yeah. <laughs> of course. Of and course. it's a, and everybody that was trying it on TikTok and Instagram, they're they were, fucking liars. They were all going, oh my God, Katie, try this. Oh my God, it's healthy coke. <laughs> it's horrible. It's horrible. This is horrible. Everything on TikTok sucks. I want to see the archetype of the person that's saying this is delicious. Dumb white bitch. <laughs> Sorry. It's not too much. Dude. How come literally every time we try something from TikTok, it's it a sucks. nightmare? Dude. Here's a conspiracy. TikTok oh. is making everybody dumb and everybody on it is lying. It's not None even of a conspiracy. They just make everything up there. Did you know? I don't know if just this can get me canceled. Clean my palate out. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, me too. Oh, yeah, good idea. Did I you know so China created TikTok, right? So supposedly, no, no, allegedly, just a rumor, the algorithm in America is to make people dumber. And the algorithm in China, where it was created, is like, how to make music, math, like how to do this, how to do that. Okay. So and I, I feel like, did they make it to make us fucking dumb? How about what? this? I heard, I heard that the person that started that whole thing uh, is just a comedian that was joking. Oh. But it's crazy that when you hear it, it sounds like it's real. Yeah. So my question to you is, mm. that's TikTok. Are right? American people just overall into into like dumber shit than people are in China? And we're just using this as an excuse? Like well, maybe we're we should just do better. We, <laughs> we just need to be, like I think we just need to do better and not blame China for why everyone wants to watch stupid shit on TikTok. And Maria, well, speaking of <clears throat> none of this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but moving on, we have our fan interaction time, and I'm so excited because uh, first we have uh, an email from Jay. If you want to send us an email, go to Shane Dawson. What is it? Shane Dawson podcast stuff at gmail.com. Is okay. this a boy? No, this is a girl. Her okay. name is Jay. And she said, uh, hey, Shane, finally got the grower hoodie and I wanted to show uh, how much I love it. And I got it to represent my grower boyfriend and he loves it too. And look at this picture. I Hold hope on. he's in it as well. Yes, he is. <gasps> it's the cutest thing ever. Look at that. No way. Zoom in. I can't. Yeah, I can't. Gonna make fun of this guy. No, no one. Are you kidding me? The Come confidence. On. He's hey, just so all you growers out there, he's in the community. <laughs> yes. We got backup guys. Fuck yeah. That'll beat the shit out of anyone. Exactly. Wow. That's they such a very cute, cute couple. Yeah, it's a cute uh, picture. We like also, a sweet guy. Uh, we also have from Lisa. She said she's a 41 year old fan from Finland. Woo! And uh, all the boyfriends she's had have been growers, and <gasps> one had a shower, uh, but it was kind of weird because it didn't grow that much. It was actually disappointing. <laughs> oh. No shame to show her, she said. I uh, loved you all. And this is a picture of her in her grower hoodie. Oh, and her it was so interesting because it didn't grow that much. Get your swag on. Well, that's what like my dad and like our mom, when we were younger, you know, it is hard to be a grower when you're a kid because, you know, you're like, where is it? And it's very confusing. And our parents would be like, well, you know, like you're lucky because you grow and like, other boys who are show, they show, but it doesn't really get that hard. So like, you know, it's, it's more fun and exciting. I would agree. I'd, I'd say most showers I've seen, it kind of just goes up. <laughs> Is that a lot? It doesn't grow. I was talking about our parents talking about other kids' penises. It felt like it could be, but I think it was perfect. Well, no, I mean, mm. I mean, listen, this they is had it. to reassure us and comfort us. Of, yes, especially how going, else could they? Going into middle school, where it, where we thought we were gonna have to shower and change in front of people, like that was the worst time of my life. It didn't actually end up happening, but you know, we were convinced that it would. Must so, be nice. I know. I'm so sorry. <laughs> what are you going to tell your kids? Like, okay, if we use my DNA for the sun, this is weird to talk about. No, go for it. No, because what about, and he, he's going to see this one day. I mean, is he? But maybe he's not a grower. <laughs> Nobody will know. We won't say which sperm is which. I mean, they're going to know. <laughs> every, every baby that I see, like, from a gay couple, I'm like, with the parents, I'm like, oh, that's the dad. It's very, like, you can tell. Oh, oh my God. Okay, another email. I'm excited. So this one is from Jenny. Uh, spells are very interesting with a G. I love that. She's wow. 20 from Australia, and she said that our podcast convinced her to get a corduroy couch. Oh, no way. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. It's almost the exact same I know. Like, fabric and everything. I love this movement. Jenny with a G. Yes, that's iconic. Dang, pastel queen. Yes. <laughs> um, okay, so now we are moving on to fewer voicemails. Uh, this one, I'm just going to say this is my favorite voicemail I've ever gotten in my whole entire life. Wow. Mm. Hi, Shay. My name is Anita, and I have a question for Jared. Um, in the shower, since he's bald, does he, like, use shampoo, or does he use bar soap on his head? Bye, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Serious question. And I had to really, it was a thinker. What do you do? I like, it wasn't a funny question at all to me, but <laughs> because when she was saying it, I was like, when she said bald, I thought she's going to ask if I shampoo or use a bar of soap. Wow. I, what, can I vote? Uh, you know what? It depends on if I'm washing, uh, if I do it before or after I wash my beard. If I wash oh. my beard first, then I'll do it and I'll just go over my head real quick. Oh. But typically, I like bars of soap because they leave me with a drier feeling. Yeah. Mm. And I don't like to feel oily. Oh. So I feel like the bar of soap is better for it. So I use a bar of soap typically. Oh, ball tips. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> for all our bald peeps. Okay, here is the next one. So my partner, my husband of five months, he's been with me for five years. We haven't had sex since last September. 
because apparently I'm fat and it's unattractive. What do I do? I'm already trying to lose weight, but like, should I be okay with it? Should I be concerned he's getting it from another bitch? Please, I need your help. You That's kill him. That's first, awful. First you of kill all, him. First of all, I'm and sorry. I don't want to start it. drama. He's gay. Sandy, <laughs> Sandy, as the woman, can you take this one? I'd tell him to kick rocks. Yeah. Yeah. And that's nice. <laughs> I'd hire somebody to kill him. I would take all his shit and just be like, goodbye. <laughs> it's re That's really, really mean. That's like just messed up. So my thought is he's gay. I don't want to put that out there because I don't know if that's gay phobic or I don't know. You're gay. Okay, Homopho but no. Homophobic. <laughs> if, you, if, that if, is you, if your husband is not fucking you and it's been that long... And it's but like, if he's battling with that and then projecting on her uh, yeah. that she's fat and giving her like yes. mental yeah. issues queen. because Big he's struggling with himself, that's fucked up and, and grounds for divorce. I have a test you can give him. A it's woman? Like a, a woman? <laughs> <laughs> was that her mom's funeral? Um, no, I. that sounds horrible. Kick rocks. That guy's never going to get better. He's never going to be a better person. He's always going to be a piece of shit. Get rid of him. Warn the next person. Easier said He's than done horrible. to get rid of I know people. It, I know it is, but honestly, like life, like Sandy said, is so short. And I saw this in Steven Spielberg's new movie, and I loved it. And it was, oh. you don't owe anybody your life. You shouldn't stay with somebody you don't want to stay with. You shouldn't do something you don't want to do because it's your fucking life. And at the end of it, when you're dead and you're in that fucking coffin, bitch, you're alone. And like, why would you do something for somebody else who wouldn't do the same for you? So kick rocks, bye. You're a big old queen and we hate you. Okay, that was and really what? dark. Is it, <laughs> it just, on a side note, what isn't easier said than done? You know? Boom. Well, yeah. It's like flying a plane. Easier said than done. I mean, you could give it one honest conversation before. No, I, no, 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 no. We're not just going to divorce our husband. Yes. We're going to give him one last chance and say, hey, you're really fucking me up in the mental department by yeah. calling me fat. Remember so this. I need to know the root of what you're saying to me. And is it something to do with you or is it actually because you think I'm fat? And if that's the problem, then we need to talk about next steps. Well, and the yeah. reality of it is I think it also goes down to your own boundaries. Like, mm. what are you going to be okay with and what are you not going to be okay with yeah so you attract or, the way or treat just you. just to play a little devil's advocate did her husband actually say that or is she saying oh well he doesn't want to be with me because i feel like i'm fat uh, because it could just be something else that they're going through so i don't want to put it all on him we don't know him we haven't heard from him but um either way i have a bad feeling i'm also bad a huge advice. fan of just like couples therapy i think is really helpful and really why oh wait i shouldn't discourage it but i will say couples therapy if one of them's a narcissist does not work oh, because well, they just learn everything. assuming he's not a narcissist <laughs> but you can never know give the test <laughs> <laughs> i, I would say it's worth a fight to save your marriage and if it's lo no way looking up then yeah I agree. Well, now Kill I feel him. bad. I feel like that was really dark. We no. love you so much. Please keep us yeah. updated. We'll do anything you want. Ryland is talking about violence. I'm not promoting that. <laughs> Don't leave a trail. Like, no text messages, <laughs> no audio messages, no voicemails. You don't want them to be able no. to lead it back to don't you. Don't Google anything. No. What don't you want to do Google. is go hiking one day. <laughs> Sandy, why do you think I've been hiking with him? She's actually told me her plan on how she'd get rid of me. No way. Yeah, what yeah, is go it? Tell well, him. I, I can't use that one now. Husband oh. death hack. This is actually my plan on how to not have her do it. Okay. So talk what? about it now. I just told him, you know, it would make sense if somebody went hiking with their husband and just kind of accidentally oh. pushed them off. Wow. <laughs> Dang, oh you gotta work on your wording. You didn't actually push me. Well, I mean, maybe, you know, you're tying your shoe. Oh, I need help. And then, you know, Well, I knows? poured Shane up onto like a rock cliff. And he did not tell me oh this hike literally i think it was the same one you did this hike literally like you look over and you're on the fucking edge like you see like you will die if you trip and, and I'm, I'm like, like i always have a conversation what if you saw a snake we did oh Shit. you we did, did. And on he the jumped. same hike that you guys went on i took him back there and i almost fucking stepped on a rattle a Shit. rattle what? are you a in rattle? danger what do you mean? <laughs> Is he trying to kill you? I kind of think Should so. Should you send me your location when you're on a hike? <laughs> oh. Well, but here's the part. No, no I will right. kill him because then everyone would know. It's yeah. too obvious now. Yeah. There's ways. Are I you also, kidding me? I couldn't live without you. Oh my God, I love Who would get me dinner? Okay. Oh, okay. I'm kidding. Wow. <laughs> Um, all right, well, I had to bring it down a peg, you know? <laughs> I couldn't be too sweet. Keep me humble. Not on air. Um, well, yeah, so that's our advice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we should be giving it anymore, but I feel good about it. Like, yeah, I feel good. Um, okay, we're going to take another quick little break. When we come back, Conspiracy Corner. See you in a second. I used to work next to a Curves. Oh, oh my God, I forgot about Curves. My mom used to do Curves. And the women would bring a towel in, and they wouldn't even sweat. 
it was like they kept it 40 degrees in there. And then they would go next door and get Quiznos every time. <laughs> well, that was the oh, Quiznos is good. So good. They kept it so cold in curves that I worked at the pet store next to it, and a girl put a beta fish on her desk, like her her reception desk, it and froze. it froze it overnight. Wow. She came. I told her she's like, hey, like I need a fish that like will be hard, like easy to take care of. The dude, I get beta fish and like we forget they're in the back for like for months, you know, like they're really hardy fish. They live in puddles. And uh, she came back the next day and said she killed us. How the hell do you kill a beta fish? And she said it froze. Can you Google if, sorry, this is a side note. I know we're supposed to be doing conspiracies, but can you Google if Curves is still around? Conspiracy, I mean, curves anyone spirits. lost weight going to Curves. <laughs> and then afterwards, can you Google if Quiznos is still around? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. No? I used to go into Quiznos oh, and I God. would bring an empty big Tupperware and I would secretly fill it up with their honey mustard. This is so fucking oh, good. And I would take it home and I would eat it with wheat thins. Gosh, Curves oh. is still around. At least oh, yeah. at, at this article is 2022 and as of 2022 was still well, around. Well, if they want to sponsor the show. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, what was, what was the guy one called? Wasn't there a man like uh, version of Curves? Crazy Curl? turn of events. Curl. There's some Quiznos still in existence. What? There are still Quiznos. Where? Uh, not that far from here. Are you fucking serious? Come email me so I can that. remember to go get Quiznos because I want it. You want me to email you? Oh yes. my gosh. Do you want to get in our fight about emails? We're doing conspiracy corner. Uh, are we? <laughs> yes, I have conspiracy. <laughs> okay, the, le the least practical thing about my husband Shane is this motherfucker. <laughs> He deletes every single email that he gets. I don't delete them, I archive them. <laughs> no, I mean, but then you can't ever find them again. Well, here's what I do. I, my email has become my to-do list. So I, I will email myself all day. And he's so tasks. psychotic about his to-do list. Like, and by the end of the day, I have to make sure they're all gone. If I'm ever associated with something on his to-do list, it's like grounds for divorce. Because yeah. it's like, he's like, he has to cross off his to-do list. And if yeah. he doesn't, it's like an all Bad. day, like the dog's heartworm pill. Uh, yes. Oh my gosh, if I have to hear about that fucking heartworm pill one more time, I'm just like, give him the fucking heartworm pill yourself. Don't include me in this. Psychotic. But it's like, I need my emails. Like the amount of times I have to reference an old email, whether that's like finding a contractor for the house or finding a like form for work or, you know, and you just don't have emails. Zero, none, unread, not unread, just like zero in his inbox. And I stand by that. But do you keep your sent emails? I don't care. I like <laughs> I like my emails clean. I don't like a bunch of bullshit in there. I don't like spam. I don't like shit. I like everything clean. And if I have an empty email at the end of the day, bitch, I'm thriving. The second hand weight that it holds on me if I'm included in one of his to-do lists, I can't even imagine being you. <laughs> I think that's something you need to take to therapy, like your to-do oh, list. <laughs> No, he bought me a jacket and it has to, he's like, he needed to return it for a size. And he's like, well, do you want to keep the You're small welcome. size or do you want to get the bigger size? And I'm like, I don't, like, I'm fine with the smaller size if you want it. Yeah, but it was like for 15 times in the day. You got to make your decision. You got to make your decision. Cause he's looking at his phone and there's an email this. there. And I'm like, <sighs> okay, why are you, why are you yelling at me? Just cause I think it's so unpractical. I think it may be a yaw thing oh. like that too. Jared is, if he's like needs to do something or if we need to go somewhere, he's like very impatient. He's like, okay, are you doing it? And then it rushes me and I'm just like, chill, like it's okay. Just take a deep breath, homies. Yeah. <laughs> or maybe you guys are slow. No, I'm not. I You are so I slow. I meet all <laughs> deadlines. I'm slow, but I meet deadlines and I arrive on time. I push you and I help you. <sighs> That's how you do both of those things. No. So we're a good unit. <laughs> We are. We complement each Why other. Why did well. you start a fight? I was so excited for my conspiracy. Okay, get into it, sweetheart. Okay. <laughs> just say, just tell him <laughs> I tell Jared. Sweetheart. I just lately have been telling him, yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been liking it. I'm not gonna start taking that one. Yeah, but yeah, I, I will say I agree with you. Thank you. I, I think uh, she's slow too sometimes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but a normal person, like honestly, I can't have like a one or a two or a five on my emails either. Like the number, I always have all unread emails, but I just don't delete them. I archive them. <laughs> it's I don't delete them. Where do they do go? You, you delete your emails, like full blown zero in your inbox. A zero, but, no. I keep the important ones or stuff I might need later. And actually, but. I have a question. Sorry, we'll get to the conspiracies in a second. They're not that good. Or will we? I, no, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're good, they're good. I have a question. I promise. Stay around. Um, okay, so everybody look at your phones, and I want to know how oh. many unanswered texts do you have? Oh, uh, I don't have zero. any friends, so... Two, Ten. and that's <laughs> since we've been sitting here. I don't think I have my phone. I have three unread. Are you serious? Yeah. You psychopath. Why? Why? Cause I'm here working with you. I'm not looking at my phone. They're you all got in them in the last hour? Yes. yes. Are you sure? Yes. Like you want to put it. money on it? Yes. Are, are they all from one person? Or since I started setting up. Wow. Okay, Rylan. 
Oh, I had two, but they are since we were recording. Wait, I, then, then who are all these people that I see who have like, like Tana, like last time I filmed something crazy here, years ago. <laughs> We'll call Dana crazy. Well, I mean, <laughs> but she has a thousand. Basically. No, yes, I can't trust somebody that has like a bunch of numbers next to anything on their phone. Like that stresses me out. I think that's valid. See, I I was just assumed but if you're empty. like if you're like famous that you have a billion notifications. So I assume like both of you. Oh, would have. I have notifications <laughs> off for everything. I don't oh, get notifications. Okay, that's it. That's part of staying at a healthy mindset okay. too, though. Sorry. Yeah, Sorry. I have no, a lot. that's smart. Un you have what? Unread emails. Twelve thousand six hundred and thirty. Wait, are you serious? Yeah. Unread? Listen, I just have to go over and like unsubscribe to, to emails. Wait, but that's so many. How do you know what comes through that's important then? Well, because I just keep track of. Are you sleeping okay? <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, very well, because I'm not checking my emails. <laughs> Good for you. Um, okay, let's jump right into these conspiracies. Um, okay, I have a question for you guys. What color is Willy Wonka's hat? Purple. I don't remember. I want to say purple. I'd say most people would say purple. Yeah. So orange. I, I got it. <laughs> interesting. I got a bunch of emails about this because people are like, oh my gosh, Mandela effect. So I will say it is weird, right? Because a lot of us remember purple. But no, it was brown. <gasps> oh. I was pretty close. You were pretty close. And then in the newer updated movie, it was black. Wow. But it's never been purple. But then I did wow. what I should probably do with all these Mandela effects, and I took two seconds to Google it. <laughs> and I realized <laughs> the candy wrappers. That the candy is a purple hat. Yes. Oh. So that's why we all think that. But like pretend I didn't say that. It's a Mandela. <laughs> well, see, and, I, and it, you see the candy a lot more in grocery store aisles than you see the movie. So that exactly. makes sense. And his like blazer was purple Wait, too. So it's but, not like there was no purple. Well, hold on. What? Uh, Chris, can you Google what color Timothy Chalamet's hat is going to be in the new Willy Wonka? I think a set He's picture. He's Willy drops. Wonka. You didn't hear about that? I'm so annoyed that he gets every job. Why? You think for him? I, I, no. Oh, I, oh it's going to be a dark magenta color. That's purple. Can you? It looks uh, like brownish. A non-gay? What color is that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're what, calling Google what's gay because that's what Google says. Like. What is magenta? I think it's dark gray. I have no Google idea. Google dark, dark red. <laughs> What the hell is magenta? Oh We're Should I ask Google to yes. be less gay? Uh, no, yes. but I do want to know Chad what magenta GBT. is. Is there a straight Google? Giggle. Wow, magenta's oh. like a purplish was... pink. Um, okay, next Mandela effect. Now this one is really stupid, but I'm going to show it anyway. Which that 70s show logo is right? The bottom. Mm, I don't know. I didn't watch it. Just gut instinct. Okay, the bottom. Number yeah. one. Number, well, number one. one. Obviously, right? That's what most people say. But no, it's number two. How does which, how? Which I'm a makes, genius. Okay, it makes sense. You really are. Thank you. Uh, it makes sense <laughs> because the 70s, like when people do like the 90s, the 80s, they always put the little apostrophe in front of the numbers. And if you look at the, that 90s show, it's the same thing. It's in front of the 90. But for some reason, it just uh -huh. looks like shit and I hate it and I want the first one. So it's not really huh. Mandela. It it is correct. Is that Just, even right grammar to have it before? Also, whose picture is in the background of this? Who is that? Ryland? <laughs> who is that? Literally, who is that? I okay, think sorry. that's you. Is that me? Why? It looks like you when you had the long hair. Okay, weird. Um, okay, and more on the Mandela thing. So. Obviously, the most famous Mandela of all time, pretty much. Oh, Sandy, maybe you would not know this one. So, the Monopoly Man. Okay. Oh. What does he have on his face? I don't. I don't think he has anything. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Are bad. you the one? <laughs> <laughs> Are you Mandela? Wait, Wait is that mm -hmm. the truth? Because it, it's a monocular. <laughs> Ma. Monocular. You just said no, no, wait, wait, wait. Is, what, wait, one more. T what is it called? Isn't it called a monocular? <laughs> Monocule. Monocular. Mo I just want to go back to okay, two what seconds ago. When you said you were a fucking genius. I know. I picked and choose my genius. <laughs> That is merch. Isn't it <laughs> um, okay. monocle? Monocle. Okay, fuck what? all of you. <laughs> yes, it's a monocle. So, uh, no, he actually does not have a monocle. And that's not the man killer. But then people started sending me these clips from movies over the years. This is 1995, Ace Ventura 2. Genius movie. And this is a clip where Ace Ventura... Who is this ghastly man? Ace Ventura, pet detective. And... Uh, you must be the Monopoly guy. <gasps> if Ace Ventura thinks that he has a monocle... <laughs> I'm believing him. Yeah, what do you say to that? <laughs> I think it's a stash. Wow, practical queen. Well, no, but, but in the movie, he had the, mon the monocular. <laughs> but look at the stash. I mean. Sandy's saying the monocular wasn't the that identifier. Was a, yes. <laughs> Monocle. Fuck off. He, he should have been like twirling his stash if that was the thing they were. That's yeah, wait, saying. why is it called Monopoly then? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so 
anyways, that's it for the Mandela's for now. But if you have any more, send them to me because I think it's fun. Okay, this, I got so many emails about mushrooms. I <laughs> cannot believe how shook people were by this. Thank God, because I felt like I was the only one in this room. But uh, mushrooms are fucking evil and I'm protesting them. <laughs> now, this is a video somebody sent me of mushrooms making music. What? <laughs> I know, I know. What did you just say? Let's all watch this together. <laughs> Shit. I'm leaving. Shit. I'm going to another planet. What the fuck? So I guess what they're doing is they're, by plugging in the fungi into a synthesizer, the mushrooms make noises, which are comparable to trance music. Um, it's something about the pulses, the electric pulses. I don't know, but you plug something in and mushrooms are fucking making music. You can't good. trust these mushrooms. Have you seen the news <laughs> stories about like the people that eat the mushrooms in their yard and die? Just flat out kills them? No. What? Yeah, Wait, there's a really? type of mushroom that if you consume as a human, you'll just... Oh my God, I used to eat those. <laughs> when I was little. We're lucky you're alive. I wow. think you're referring to... I think they're called either lawnmower mushrooms or umbrella mushrooms, but you have to eat a pretty good amount. I just I, I, saw, you can't just eat one and die. Sounds like but, a challenge. Um, yeah. yeah, so mushrooms are making music. I'm done. I want I want out. Have any of you guys had mushrooms since the last podcast? Hell no. Yes. <laughs> well, I was going to buy some. But then I decided to buy some, I wanted to buy some lion's mane because that's the one I read from the comments Ooh. that is like supposed to be really good for you. Wait, is the, that a type of mushroom? It's a type of mushroom called lion's mane. What does it look like? Like a lion's mane? Can, can, can it looks crazy. It, it, it does. They it, look awesome. And we've eaten them before. They're really good. Can we get yeah. a vegan uh, version of a mushroom? I've grown them before, <laughs> actually. A mushroom is vegan. No, it's not. No, yes, it's it not. Is. They're well, smart. We're talking about how like the vegans, world, are, the vegans are reconsidering uh, because they're half uh, human, uh, half plant. Well, I mean, Wait, at all restaurants about, right? currently, it's still considered. Did you find a picture of, I'm going to be that bitch. When I go to a restaurant, I'm going to be like, that's not vegan. <laughs> Have you seen the subway system in Japan? Excuse me. These they're are more than a plant. Lion's mane. Yuck. You ate that? What? Yeah. That dog? That looks like the dog that from dog. Seventh Heaven. <laughs> are you, you're, telling me, you're telling me that that's not happy from Seventh Heaven? Or the dog from the Never Ending Story. Wow. It looks like oh. uh, it looks like a whole gang of people just jizzled all over the fucking tree stump. I can't believe people just walk in there like, yeah, that's something to eat. Life hack: If you're ever out and about, because mushrooms can be good, but if you want to know if they're gonna make you like trip out, you just cut it, and if it starts turning blue, then it has psilocybin in it. Unless you're into it. I wouldn't need it. But for the record, lion's mane supposedly protects against dementia and like <gasps> relieves anxiety, depression symptoms yeah. and like uh, recover as may speed recovery from your nervous system, like all kinds of stuff, supposedly. Okay, sorry. I, I, I pointed at Ryland only because that's my biggest fear is you getting dementia. But when we talk, I pray about it a lot. And because I you just, have no memory. No, and my brain's me. very selective on what it wants to keep. Like, what was I'm your scary. analogy the other day? Like, your brain gets full it's or whatever. It's not an analogy. So it's how it works. Okay. Your brain keeps memories that it thinks it needs, and then it throws away other ones. And I just, my brain doesn't think much is important. So it's just like, beep, 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 beep. Okay, this is going to lead me somewhere, I promise. It's going to start confusing, and then we'll get somewhere. So, Jenny Ortega. Is it Jenny or Jenna? I Mandela get so back. much shit for this all the time, because I can't remember which one it is. Jenny. Jenna. 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 But it seems like it should be Jenny. <laughs> um, okay, so this clip started going viral. People were sending it to me because we're like, oh, did Jenna, Jenny, Jenna? Jenna. Did oh, Jenna it's Ortega, hard. Did Jenna Ortega um, predict or manifest her, you know, her future? So here's the clip, and it's from a show from probably, I don't know, like 10 years ago or something. This is what happens when there are seven kids and you're stuck in the middle. If my family was a week, I would be Wednesday. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Obviously, it's stupid, right? But it like really went. It got like thirty million views or something. People I mean, like, yeah, oh my that's God, crazy. crazy. Little really? Jenna's so cute. I mean, it's just like such a coincidence that it's like, yeah, I would watch that if it was if I opened TikTok. Okay. Well, no. So obviously Jenna Ortega, Jenna Ortega. Jenna. Uh, so I've known about her for a long time because she's been in stuff forever. But just recently with Wednesday, she became huge. Like one of those people where like, if you look at her Instagram, if you look back, it was like she was getting, you know, like 20,000 likes and then boom, 10 million, boom, 30 million, boom, 30 million. Like it's crazy. Like she is the most famous person in the world right Wednesday now. turned her oh, yeah. into like a bona fide star. Yeah. Which now it's a part and of screen. me. And screen, well. well. I mean, that was like, it was like a soft launch into yeah. her fame. So anyway, so my question was, somebody was like, do you think Jenna Ortega is a plant, an industry plant? Do you think that this has been, you know, 
she signed a deal with the devil. How did she no, do this? No, that bitch has been working her yeah. whole life. She hasn't, right? I don't believe any of that. But then that led me into two things. Number one, did she actually manifest this? Is this real? What if she did manifest this? And how do I do that? But also, how do I, I don't want to manifest things that are bad because sometimes I'll have an idea for a video title and it'll be something about me dying or something like that. And then I don't do it because I'm like, then what if I die? And the people look back and say, oh, he manifested this. Have, okay. have you ever seen the clip where Chris Pratt sat there and was like, he was like pretending, like this is forever ago. And he's like pretending to be on a call. He's like, hold on, it's Steven Spielberg. What, you want me to be in Jurassic Park? Shut okay. up. Yeah. And then he's in Jurassic what? Park. You never saw, I'm gonna no. find that right now. I'll have to get back to you later about Jurassic Park 4. What? You guys want to give me a morning talk show? <laughs> <laughs> Just trying it out. Wow, that is crazy. Okay, well, this led me, in, and I didn't want to talk about this because I feel bad. This girl's like 17 or 18, but it people were sending me this a lot. So basically, this girl, Gail, you know that song, A, B, C, D. Oh, yeah. Whatever. Okay, good song. Hit song. So she on TikTok... Before she was famous, she went on and she said, um, tell me what you want me to write a song about. And she said, oh yeah, uh, let me know in the comments, put anything, literally anything, and I'll write a song about it. So then one of the, and it has, you know, that TikTok doesn't really have any views. And then the one comment said, can you write a breakup song using the alphabet? Cry face, laughing, laughing, laughing. And so she did. And she, you know, she's sitting there with the guitar and she's like, A, B, C, singing the song, kind of pretending like she's, you know, making it up. That went viral, got millions and millions of views. And then the song comes out and is a huge hit. So then people started doing some research and found out that comment was left by her like PR person from the record label. So it was all kind of set up. The song was already done and ready to go. And they created it as a marketing campaign. I mean, that's genius. It's genius. I don't see anything wrong with it. I think it's genius. It's a marketing campaign. People are trying to cancel her for that. No, I don't think so. But I think people are just like, oh, she's a plant. It's an industry plant. I'm like, uh, or it's just good marketing. And like that great was- Great marketing. Yeah, and that was kind of the thing. And I fucking love that song. It's catchy. Yeah. Yeah, but it is kind of crazy that like, I've never understood how to do that. Like how do people- I would like to know. I remember like seeing the Chris Pratt thing and then like other celebrities, like instances like this that had happened. And I was like, I'm going to tweet every year until it happens that I'm going to be in Star Wars because that's my like lifelong goal is Did to be. Did you do it? No, but I'm going to oh. start. I remember now. Oh. I feel like it's too late. No. Oh. Are they still making those movies? Jedis are so old in the movies. I, I can do it when I'm old. Okay. Um, <laughs> wait, Sandy, maybe one of your videos should be about manifesting. Well, it's also just affirmations, I believe. Just oh. daily affirmations about what you want and just attract things that you yeah, uh, I mean, if you would have walked into my room when I was a 20 year old, you would have thought I was a crazy person because that was my whole entire room just like manifesting for myself because I think a visual representation of what you want to do and where you want to go is important because I think constantly thinking about it daily, whereas like if you don't have it somewhere in your email that you can see it every <laughs> single day, it's like not going to happen to you because you're not thinking about it. Well, it's like a vision board. Yeah, I saw a clip actually of Jennifer Aniston today, like on Instagram when I was scrolling, she was like, Oh, for me, my manifestation, that's weird because this like happened right before this podcast and I didn't even know you're going to do this. But Jennifer Aniston was like, oh, I speak to the world as if it's already happened. So she's like, whenever I am manifesting a job that I want, I'm like talking about how I'm so grateful for this opportunity with this wonderful crew, with this movie that has just gone on so effortlessly. And yeah, so. Wow. Okay. You know, they actually do that. Sorry. They actually do that. Um, I don't, don't remember where, but they, the way they speak, they don't say, I'm going to save X amount of money or I'm going to do this. I have. They, I have X you amount of money. You speak as if you already. Yes. That's <laughs> another thing that Liar Liar, Jim Carrey, wrote himself a check for like a million, right. what was it? A million dollars, something, $10 million. And then like cashed it after he made a couple of movies or whatever. Like I'm he, on he it. made it happen. And then I'm, he dated it. I'm on it this year. I'm doing it. I was trying it outside earlier. You know? Hey, yeah. I was like, hell yeah. After I saw Jennifer Aniston talking about it, I'm like verbalizing out loud to myself how I'm going to change my life. I Still would, include you. I think I hope so. <laughs> I'd love to see Jennifer Aniston in, in a different role. What? <laughs> you know? <laughs> Just saying. She could do. Uh, I would say she's different in the morning show. Okay. Oh, right. Um. Okay. Well, I don't want to ruin the mood, but uh, and this is just a really quick one. But Jared actually told me about this one a while ago, and I keep forgetting to talk about it because it's so crazy. Uh, did you guys know that CNN has a broadcast ready to go? They've had it for years. 
of what they're gonna put on TV when the world ends. What? Wow. I knew they do that for older celebrities. What's the broadcast for so the end of the world? It's not even worth playing because it's so stupid. Are there multiple versions? No, there's one and it's in front of, I think the White House and there's a bunch of like a band playing and they're playing the song that was played when the Titanic was going down. So yeah, it's but, very lackluster when you actually watch. And it. so they're giving no details. It's not like, oh, we're dying because the mushrooms took over, or oh, we're dying because of an earthquake. Well, no, they can't or, predict it. So this, they're just saying the world's over. We're sorry. If there's Hope an, you enjoyed. Yeah, if, pretty if much. There's impending doom that uh, for sure the Earth is gonna, you know, come to an end. This is supposed to be what we could all watch and uh, feel better about it. I guess a bunch of dudes playing music. Can you imagine? What would we do? Sorry, we'll end it on this. What would we do if the if we found out right now the world was going to end? That's a lot to ask. <laughs> but like, what would we do? Well, I've been debating it recently since The Last of Us came out. No, oh. I was talking about it as well. What's the first thing you would do? Well, I think, I Please mean, knows. it depends. Like, if I have you in my life, you're the reason, right? And then if we have children, like, that's the reason to fight to stay alive. If it's pre-children, then it's probably like you and I decide together. Like, do we want to, like, wait it out and see if we can have life after the end of the world? Or... Right, let me are, just throw out there. There's a meteor that's going to just destroy everything there's no way well that's gonna, different from how, like what, a, is that what you're asking like what would, no. if the world was going to end for yeah. sure no there's no hope there's no hope uh, uh, CNN's oh, playing the video. No. well then we find a way to peacefully kill ourselves quickly wow wow you, you, you wouldn't Whoa. wait <laughs> Whoa. Okay. i mean yeah i'm not trying to like have the house collapse on me and then slowly die what if it didn't happen dude, one. dude. <laughs> what animals? you gotta be careful if the news ever announces the end of the world's happening soon <laughs> It can be shit. romantic. I think we just need to get. What about the animals? Okay, hold your horses. It can be romantic. We need to get like good drugs that we could put in a drink. What about the animals? I'll call the vet <laughs> and I will have them come put them down. Okay. I mean, if the world's gonna end. <laughs> Are, is the vet taking the point? <laughs> Why is that working? The vet's like, dude, I got like three million appointments today, unfortunately. Like, Holy shit. We've been good to the vet over the years. Yeah, what is the, vet worried, the vet worried about rent? You know what I, I mean? Know. He got no bills so, left. Okay, we only have one minute left. Anybody else really quick before we take a break? Oh, C shit. Does CNN when you said that I got worried for your life, when you said we only have one minute left. <laughs> Does CNN update the end of the world video, or is it just the same? Anyways. It's the same. Okay. Chris, what would you do right now? The world's ending. Oh, I don't know. Cry. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. That's so, that's so Chris of you. Uh, Jared, what would you do? Uh, I don't want to sound like a pervert. <laughs> 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 okay, you got to do you. it somewhere else, baby. You'd get it in one more time. I think I said time. enough. Yeah, Sandy, Sandy, what would you do? I would just hang out with Jared and the dogs. Oh. Yeah. Just yeah. Be yeah. with each other. Okay. <laughs> We're thinking the same thing. Right. I would eat everything I've ever wanted to eat. Oh, my God. And then I'd let you kill me. <laughs> you know what that takes us into? <laughs> All right, Ryland, take us to the end of the world, baby. All Give right. Give us a recap. On today's episode of the Shane Pot, whoa, you really threw me off with the peep cast. <laughs> <laughs> On today's episode of Shane's peep cast, the boys are joined again by fan favorite Sandy Young. Yeah! Yeah! Shout out, peeps. Woo! And that's it. No middle name. The boys from Adventurous and try the Peep X Pepsi collab coined Peepsy by Jared. Oh, you picked a fight because you're an asshole. <laughs> 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 Ryland picked a fight, a practical fight with Shane because he's stupid. Oh, I, you called me an asshole. I love you. You love guys you. announced how you'll murder us. <laughs> oh, Ryland and Sandy uh, plot and plan how to kill their husbands, but don't tell the police if it happens. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, uh, none of us are psych uh, psychopaths. <gasps> In relieving news. Well, I don't Oh, is it relieving? Not to Jared. He was disappointed. <laughs> I have mixed opinions. Like, no, I don't want to be a psychopath. Would I be more <laughs> successful if I was a psychopath? Would I already have my own real show if I was a psychopath? Probably. Oh, yeah. Girl yeah. Scout cookies. We're, we're, we're skeptical on where this, yes. all this money is going. Yeah. You know? The pot is split. The couch crew is split on whether the Girl Scout cookies are cost for good. Oh, Girl Scouts are manipulative. Bitches. Oh, the Girl Scouts mothers <laughs> are the mother. little manipulative bitches. Yes. And I am scared of them, and they'll probably send their cult after me now. 
Boy Scout biscuits coming soon. <laughs> Jared's new invention, Boy Scout biscuits, hitting supermarket parking lots soon. Oh, balsamic vinegar inside of water is gross. <laughs> TikTok's stupid. In TikTok is the worst news, balsamic soda water is not the same as soda. Okay, in basalmic news, uh, monocular is not a word. <laughs> <laughs> in I can't speak news, uh, uh, monocular isn't a thing. Turns out it's a monocle. Monocle. Yeah. Oh, monocle. We're all going to start manifesting our futures? Yes. The couch crew is starting to manifest their future thanks to Sandy inspiring us with her health and wellness channel yes. that's listed here. Yes. Oh, uh, mushrooms, still evil, even scarier. And they make music. They We're even do. more skeptical of mushrooms coming up on our second week of discussing them. Sandy ate the most disgusting kind, and Ryland and Shane are still staying far away. Um, oh, uh, reaching out to fellow farmers. Do you want merch? <gasps> <gasps> Farmer alert. Do you want merch? Well, it might be available at ShaneDawsonMerch.com if he figures out how to plant some seeds. How to get rid of some of the previous unsold <laughs> agriculture <laughs> <laughs> that is costing me money <laughs> so <laughs> trying to figure out a way to uh, <laughs> shop your shane dawson podcast merch at shane dawson oh code grower for 10 percent oh off. and use code grower for 10 percent off everything there is fabulous thank you um, all right, wrap it up. All yeah. right, you guys. Well, that's it for today's episode of the Shane Dawson Podcast. Make sure you're following the Shane Dawson Podcast on all your audio and video platforms and follow all of us. And additionally, Sandy, her brand new... Uh, what? I glitched. <laughs> you're no good. And make sure you follow Sandy's brand new YouTube channel as well. It's listed here and in the description section as well. It's going to blow your socks off. You're going to feel healthier than ever. And thank you guys for supporting us and loving and enjoying the show. And hopefully you'll have some advertisers soon to keep this going. <laughs> <laughs> if this episode has ads, we are happy. <laughs> I don't know if it does yet. <laughs> well, thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in two weeks right here on the Shane Dawson podcast. Bye. Well, there you go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed whatever the hell this was. Easter edition and Sandy edition. Uh, show her some love. Show everybody some love. And uh, have a happy Easter if you celebrate it. We really didn't talk about Easter, did we? <laughs> <laughs> and we all know what Easter is, right? Yes, Jesus resurrected. Good. <laughs> right? Yeah. Chocolate bunnies. <laughs> <laughs> there and it is. Uh, see you guys next time. Bye.